Hello princesses and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Do you hear the sleigh bells again? Yeah, we got another holiday 2020 release rolling in. And the reason that my face is kind of halfway finished is because today we're going to play with and talk about the new Hourglass sculpture releases. We're going to do some swatches. We're going to do some comparisons and we're going to talk a little bit about everything that Hourglass has to offer a little early, but still for holiday 2020. As I mentioned, my face is only halfway finished and I did want to tell you that this is the happy glow look from the brand new Charlotte Tilbury palette, a 12 pan palette. Uh, some folks asked me yesterday if I was planning to do more looks from the new 12 pan palette. And so here is another happy eyes and I will link my review to that video below, but I did want to kind of tip you off to that. Though this is not a Charlotte video, this video really belongs to Hourglass. So let's talk about the new 2020 holiday Hourglass sculpture collection. It consists of three different offerings. The first, which I'll throw up here in a photo because I did not purchase it, is the Confession Refillable Lip Duo. Um, I haven't really ever truly loved those. They're certainly pretty, especially in this gold sculpture packaging, but it's really not my cup of tea, so I passed on that one. Then I had two palettes to choose from. Which to choose? Which to choose? I've chosen one. I did not choose the Ambient Lighting Edit Mini Unlocked. It is lovely, and you know me, princesses. I will probably go back and get it, but this one is the non-marbled with four new shades. And then what I did pick, which is this absolutely gorgeous Ambient Lighting Sculpture Edit, and I don't know if you can see how beautiful this gold packaging is. Let's open it up, let's talk about it. This palette has three new shades and three existing shades that are very popular from other palettes. It is upside down uh, to get the mirror out of your way, so let me quickly just kind of try to get the mirror out of there and flip it for you. We have some finishing powders. We have two finishing powders. Don't worry, we're going to talk about all of it. We have our, um, we have a highlighter, we have a bronzer, and we got two blushes. I don't know why I got tongue-tied there for a moment. Probably just excitement over new makeup. You know how I get, how we all get, right? So let's talk a little bit about it, and I thought we would talk and compare and apply kind of at the same time. So I do not have any finishing powder on and I thought we would do that together. I've got my Sonia G brush here ready to go and my mirror here ready to go as well. So let's take a look really quickly at our two options for finishing powder. The first option being right here and that is the dim light and that is an existing shade that you might have in a single I believe it was princesses and then the diffused light I believe also in a single if you have dim or diffused. Now what I have done here, I'm going to cut to a swatch of the dim on the left, the diffused in the middle, and then all the way to the right I have put the Lighting Infinity Powder, which was a, le a most, their most recent Hourglass Finishing Powder release. So once again we have dim light on the left, diffused light in the middle, and then the Lighting Infinity Powder, not contained here, but a recent release from Hourglass. Uh, I, since these are two existing shades, I figured let's just give them a little mix. Why not? Uh, we have the, the first is kind of a, uh, the Dim Light is kind of a, um, kind of a neutral peachy powder. It's just kind of really good to just kind of bring light to the face. And the second, um, the Diffuse Light is kind of a warm, yellow, also light and warmth. And I'm just going to take my brush and go over both and just kind of stamp it, princesses, onto my face as I do as kind of a finishing powder. These have a little bit, as you can maybe see, of, I'm not even using a mirror really, of a glisten to them. And I like that personally as a finishing powder. You can use it anywhere if you like a little bit of a 
shimmer to your setting powder, you can do that too, but I use it as a finishing powder just to kind of even out and my complexion, I hope you can see that there, and just kind of make things look a little bit, you know, more put together. So that was the first step there. Now we're gonna move on to the bronzer. We don't have anything to compare this to. The bronzer is our natural light bronzer. It is exclusive to this palette. So let's take a little look at it. Here is the bronzer right there on my finger. And I'll do a little swatch for you here of the bronzer. Let me get that a little bit darker for you. This looks like a bronzer that would suit anywhere. Well, I guess it depends, but you could probably use it in the, on the eyes as well. But to me, this bronzer is for medium on down. Um, I don't know how it would work if you have a darker complexion. And if you do have a darker complexion, can you please leave a note for us and let us know? So I'm trying to get my little Sonia G brush in there and just kind of bronze up a little bit with it right here. I'm just trying to get the tip in there because the thing about these palettes, you know, if you, if you screw up and you accidentally go into the blush, you're going to look a little silly. So there's me bronzing up. Um, okay, let me be completely honest with you. That is why we're here. This bronzer is very pretty. I am having trouble seeing it on me. I am, and I'll list below, a 5.5 bisque from Tom Ford. I'm a 5 neutral in Charlotte Tilbury. I'm kind of a I'm kind of a typical light medium. And I mean the nice thing about this is you can't abuse it, but if you are darker than me, and so many of us are, I don't know that this is gonna bronze for you because I don't know that it's bronzing for me. It's almost a little bit blush-like, maybe? Um, you know what, friends, subscribers, down below, so many of you have so many different complexions and so many a little darker than I am. Let me know what you think, please, because I'm not, I mean, it's very pretty, but I'm not seeing that I'm able to bronze with it. So if you could let me know, I would love it. It's not gonna make the palette a, a dud or anything, but um, I don't know that we're bronzing, right? Okay, let's just be honest. That's why we're here. All right, let's blush. So first of all, we have two blushes in this palette. One is brand new and one is existing. We have the Strobe Blush in Vibrant Flush. This is brand new. Is that showing on my finger? That is brand new. We're gonna get, we're gonna do some comparisons in a moment. And in this palette, we have Mood Exposure which is not brand new blush. That is an existing popular shade. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cut away to some swatches. I'm going to have the, the, uh, bl the blushes that are in this palette. I'm so tongue tied today. I'm gonna have the blushes in this palette on the left side, starting with our new, all the way towards the crook of my arm, Strobe Blush Vibrant Flush followed by Mood Exposure, the existing shade that is in this palette. Then to the right of it, I put all four shades of the Ambient Blush Quad Ghost Edition, which is also a fairly recent release. And then to the right of that, two new recent releases, both Sublime Flush, which was recently released as a single, and At Night, which is a brand new blush from Hourglass, also released as a single. And that just kind of gives you an idea with some recent Hourglass releases. Okay, so I think today, since we're looking at, you know, kind of new stuff, let's do the Vibrant Flush, which is very orangey, but let's go ahead and do that because it is new. And there it is, oh, I blew on it, I wasn't supposed to do that. There is on the brush, tapping it off, What do you think? Oh, to not talk while applying blush. Okay. Is that even? Let's put a little more. What do you think? That's really pretty, isn't it? I thought it would almost be too corally, but I'm actually really liking it. I think that's really pretty, princesses. What do you think? 
So that is the new blush that's included in the ambient lighting edit sculpture edition that I have right here in front of us. Let's highlight now. So the highlight in this quad, in this sex tuplet, what do we call it? What do you, yeah. <laughs> is the glistening strobe light. It has a little bit of fine glitter particles in it. And we're gonna put that on in a minute. But first, let's cut away to the highlight glistening strobe light on the left. And let's stick it next to the ambient strobe lighting palette, which is more of a foiled look. Look at that to the right. They're more of a foiled, solid shine. Whereas this highlight, the glistening strobe light, has a little bit more glitter particles and is a little bit more translucent. So let's go ahead and put it on. It really depends which you prefer. The ambient strobe lighting palette has no glitter and that foiled effect, um, but you know, it can be a bit much. This shouldn't be quite as much, but we'll replace that foil look with a bit, I bet, of some glitter particles. So let's see what we think as we kind of highlight away here using the viewfinder. What do you think? I think that's actually really pretty. So my question for you, princesses. Are you gonna pick up any of these three offerings from Hourglass in the Sculpture Collection? It certainly is packaged beautifully, and I'm already fingerprinting it up, and it really is quite beautiful. Do you guys think that I should go out and give a try to the uh, four pan ambient lighting edit, which all four are new in that? I know I'm going to pass on the Confession refillable lip duo, but let me know if you got it. Hey, again, get back to me on that bronzer if you have purchased this um, with different skin tones and complexions all the way across. I would love to know your thoughts and your thoughts on this palette and Hourglass's holiday offerings, which came a little early. I think they're maybe hoping we'll spend our money now and then we can have some for later. I don't know. We'll see. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you have not already subscribed, I would certainly love your support. So please do. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.